so learners with a smile with a positive note today we will start our chemistry class fine okay i hope uh, you all understand the previous sessions you apply that in various questions okay if you have any queries any doubt please add in our telegram channel we definitely clear your queries we definitely clear your doubts and i just give you another information uh, those are uh, passed out the plus 2 intermediates if you want to reevaluate your paper you are not satisfied with that that uh, <coughs> starts from 21 august so please apply that fine okay so before i going to start something for you uh, that is the motivational class i am also a student i just want to say one thing there are uh, two three things needed for a student to be a successful person first of all have a big dream if you hang out with a chicken you can learn to run if you hang out with a eagle you can learn to fly so always have a big dream so that's why definitely you crack up up to that level fine and second one the most important thing is loyalty as a watch and the function of a watch to show the time if the watch did not work it shows two times definitely for a day fine and uh, third one simply you always uh, understand what is the basic difference between dream and aim that dream simply effortless sleep aim that is sleepless effort so always trying to turn your dream into aim you have aim to crack not a dream so now we start our class today the content simply uh, electromagnetic wave you know what is wave wave uh wave means disturbances second one wave characteristics in this content we discuss frequency wave number time period amplitude right then planck's quantum theory quantum theory black body radiations and second photoelectric effect right the ejection of electron by applying some light and finally the bohr's atomic postulates model is postulates okay we already discussed thomson's model rutherford's model we analyze the limitations in other models uh, when a charged particle <coughs> continually moving it emits radiation so it can fall to the nucleus right up to that limitation we develop the bohr's theory and we analyze all the postulates fine so this is the uh, very important thing so we start our class from the electromagnetic wave what is that so now turn to the topic first wave you know wave is some kind of disturbances electromagnetic wave simply <coughs> you already familiar with that thing electromagnetic wave i represent through a uh, figure that is that is the propagation of wave that is oscillating of electric field and that is oscillating of magnetic field they all are mutually perpendicular to each other fine and electromagnetic wave is a transverse wave okay so there are cross and drops fine uh, transverse wave means what simply the disturbances in the fields are perpendicular to the propagation of wave so that is electromagnetic wave wave means disturbances okay uh, emr means electromagnetic wave means electric field and magnetic field and propagation of wave they all three are mutually perpendicular to each other they are transverse wave fine so now we discuss about the wave characteristics what are the wave characteristics तो सिंपल से हम थोड़ा वेव को भी एनालाइज करेंगे फाइन है तो इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव इज ए ट्रांसफर्स वेव फाइन सो दिस इज ए कंप्लीट वेव फाइन इज एट द क्रस्ट इज एट द टॉप फाइन ओके दिस इज द कंडक्टिव क्रस्ट ओके दिस इज द टॉप फाइन ओके सो व्हाट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स अबाउट वेव लेंथ लेंथ दैट मींस यू नो दैट द लेंथ ऑफ अ सिंगल वेव दैट इज वेव द लेंथ ऑफ अ सिंगल वेव मींस the distance between to conjective crest or you can take also the distance between to conjective top fine so this is the two conjective crest so this length is called simply wave length or lambda fine it represented through lambda you need it you can uh, take a meter or you can take cm no problem fine so this is the wave length wave length is simply the distance between to conjective crest and to conjective top second one frequency frequency what is the symbolization with the new frequency cycle per second also can represent to hertz fine okay per second the number of waves per second the number of complete waves that is simply frequency that represent to new new fine okay 
and uh, the third one is web number. This is the reciprocal of web length. This is the reciprocal of web length. Web number you can represent it as one by lambda simply. Okay. Or web number here for unit length. For unit length, how many webs? Frequency. एक सेकंड में कितना वेब पास कर रहा है एक ही पॉइंट से वो फ्रीक्वेंसी है द नंबर ऑफ वेब पासिंग टू ए पॉइंट एट सेकंड सिंपली यहां पे फॉर यूनिट लेंथ द नंबर ऑफ वेब्स सिंपली दैट इज वेब नंबर आल्सो इट्स रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ वेब लेंथ इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड टू न्यू बार फाइन आप जो इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन है जितने भी एनर्जी है आप एनएमआरआई या यूवी मास जो भी एनर्जी है आप ऑलरेडी यू फैमिलियर विद स्पेक्ट्रा एटॉमिक स्पेक्ट्रा एब्जर्वेशन स्पेक्ट्रा एमिशन स्पेक्ट्रा जो स्पेक्ट्रा में क्या होता है वो इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव पार्टिकल एब्जर्व करता है ठीक है एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉन जंप फ्रॉम एनर्जी डिफरेंट एनर्जी लेवल टू डिफरेंट एनर्जी लेवल फाइन जो भी एनर्जी है उसको सिंपली हम एज्यूम करते हैं न्यू बार है सीएम इनवर्स और मीटर इनवर्स फाइन जनरली सीएम इनवर्स होता है तो जो भी एनर्जी है डिफरेंट एनर्जी लेवल है हम रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं सीएम इनवर्स वेब नंबर में केमिस्ट्री में फाइन एनएमआर का फ्रीक्वेंसी इतनी है एक्चुअली फ्रीक्वेंसी लेकिन वी रिप्रेजेंट टू वेब नंबर फाइन एंड दैट इज यूजफुल फॉर द स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी दैट इज यूज इन स्पेक्ट्रा ओके नेक्स्ट वन सिंपली एम्पलीट्यूड एम्पलीट्यूड सिंपली दिस इज द हाइट ओके दिस इज द हाइट ऑफ द वेब फाइन ऑल्सो डेप्थ ऑफ ए टॉप This is the height of a crest and depth of the torf. Now you can say that its amplitude and represented through a. This is the height, fine. And web velocity, you know that this is the speed, speed of a web in vacuum according to light. Okay. And <coughs> final, that is time period. And the last one that is about time period. Simply the time required for a single web to pass through a point. That is time period. Okay. So these are the some characteristic of web. We discuss a electromagnetic web, the wavelength, frequency, web number, amplitude, web velocity, and last one is time period. You analyze all the definition. You symbolize that the symbols. Fine. Okay. So try to remember these things. Try to analyze these things. Also, you familiar with the web chapter in physics. But what are the web? Simply a disturbance. What about electromagnetic web? The disturbance in electromagnetic field. Fine. And the yeah, oscillating electric field, oscillating magnetic field, and the propagation of web, they all are perpendicular to each other. Fine. And the characteristics, those it is a transverse web. There are the crest and torques. Fine. The web length is the length between two adjacent crest or two adjacent torques that is represented through lambda, unit meter, and cm. And the frequency we take it to cycle per second. Web number simply that is the reciprocal of web length. Okay, जितने भी energy level है spectrum के लिए हम analysis करेंगे, वो सब web number का ही है. Fine. And next amplitude है. This is the height or depth. Height of the equator crest. This is the height. Equator top. That is depth of a top. And uh, web velocity. This is the speed of a web uh, in a vacuum. You know that is according to light and fine time period. So when we decide that electron is Particle nature, electron is web nature, so some characteristics are the, uh, needed to define a web. So this is about web and then characteristics. So we take the web as electromagnetic web, a transverse web. Okay. So now turn to Planck's quantum theory. Fine. Okay. So अभी हम discuss करेंगे Planck's quantum theory. You know Planck's quantum theory. आप सब familiar हो इसके साथ. Black body radiations. Black body means you know that uh, that absorbs all the wavelengths. Fine. But according to Planck's quantum theory, anybody जो भी है radiant energy is emitted or absorbed in discontinuous manner. जो भी body है if it absorbs or emits radiation, that is always in a discontinuous manner, not in a continuous manner. That is in form of packets, one packets, two packets like that. Fine. These packets are called quanta, or in case of light, that is called photon. Fine. So first question that is radiant energy. Anybody. Is emitted or absorbed? वो emit करता है या absorb करता है in a discontinuous manner in the form of quanta, in the form of packets called quanta. In case of light, we can say that is photon. Fine. And the second one is simply each quanta, each packet that is associated with definite amount of energy that is quantized, fixed amount of energy. Every packet they have fixed amount of energy, quantized energy. Fine. Which is proportional to its frequency. So definitely the formula E proportional to nu E equal to h nu. H is the Planck's constant. 
its value and we remember that 6.63 into 10 to the minus 34 joule second right and the final point is a body can emit absorb only in the whole multiple of quantum whole multiple of quantum simply e equal to n h nu anybody they can emit in form of packets one packet two packet three packet this is the whole number multiple of that fixed amount of energy fine so what is about Planck's quantum theory anybody emit or absorb radiations they are in a discontinuous manner they are <coughs> absorbing or emitting in form of packets these packets have a quantized energy these packets have a quantized energy and their energy proportional to their frequency so e, could, e proportional to nu e could h nu h is the Planck's constant fine so this is about Planck's quantum theory we studied about wave electromagnetic wave this characteristics of wave and now it's Planck's quantum theory what are the postulates so now turn to photoelectric field fine photo related to light electric means ejection of electron okay uh, the ejection of electron from a metal surface then a light of uh, some certain frequency strike on that metal surface falls on that metal surface fine so what is the definition simply ejection of electron from metal surface with a strike of light with certain frequency okay and jj thompson that observed that effect that is photoelectric effect okay so yahan pe do teen cheeze hain jo aapko bahut analyze karna hoga ek metal surface hota hai there is a nuclear internuclear force of attraction between nucleus and electron okay jab certain frequency ka light falls on that metal surface fine that definitely counteract the electronic attraction between nucleus and electron so it uh, overcome the electronic attraction between nucleus and electron fine or uh, second thing is when a certain frequency of light falls on the metal surface there is uh, ejection of electron so that electron definitely with some kinetic energy fine so <coughs> simply observe that is equation that is h nu h nu equal to h nu 0 plus half m d square so that much of frequency that much of energy required for the ejection of electron because there is two forces are there one is first inter electron nuclear attraction second the electron with definitely with some kinetic energy so we should apply that much of frequency which can eject and the electron with some kinetic energy it moves so photoelectric effect simply uh, when a photon or light with some certain frequency strike on the metal surface there is a ejection of electrons so the frequency that to be covered with that uh, internuclear attraction as well as the kinetic energy of an electron fine you know there is a lot of applications there and the cgm cgm can usually in photography plate or uh, simply due to this photoelectric effect because cgm at bigger size fine bigger size or low ionized energy that electron that easily removes because there is a small internuclear attraction between nucleus and electron fine cgm you know hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cgm francium francium that is the radioactive element man made element so cgm that is a bigger in size so there is a large distance between nucleus and the electron we can use light to eject that electron so we contract the overcome the attraction and second one the electron should be moved that's why it is associated with some kinetic energy that is the frequency of this light okay this is h nu 0 that is the attraction nuclear attraction and this is half m square that electron moves with that kinetic energy and uh, these things are used in photographic plate in uh, different movies uh, for the attractive uh, figure fine so this photo uh, photoelectric effect or photographic plate so whatever photoelectric field simply jj thompson observed when a light of certain frequency falls on the metal surface there is a ejection of electron that should be at the outermost electron okay because the distance between outermost cell is far as compared to the inner electron that's why this electron is ejected from the outermost energy right outermost energy level okay and uh, <coughs> that uh, frequency that to be overcome that uh, outermost electron say nuclear attraction and as well as the electron move with the kinetic energy so that much amount of frequency definitely striking on the metal surface otherwise that effect is not blessed fine so whatever photoelectric effect simply 
there is a thumbsum that observed simple definition ejection of electron from metal surface with a strike of light with some certain frequency this is the equation that frequency of the light that is uh, as well as depends of the internuclear force of attraction and the kinetic energy of the electron so we study simply what is the uh, electromagnetic wave some wave characteristics frequency wavelength amplitude time period wave number like that and second one mac planck's quantum theory find the quantization of energy and now it's the application of that quantum theory that is simply photoelectric effect that is used in a photographic plate now we turn to bohr's model particle nature or turn to bohr's atomic model first so we should uh, <coughs> discuss first draw back of rutherford's model you know what is about the limitation of rutherford's model rutherford model stated that simply what are the limitation that when a charged particle charged particle <coughs> electron is charged particle that revolve around the nucleus in an atom uh, maxwell the argued that when a charged particle continuously moving it emits radiation some after some time it loses its energy that's why it fall on the nucleus so these are the limitations of rutherford model so neil bohr neil bohr uh, <coughs> explained with the atoms particle nature that uh, some postulates the first postulate is when electron moving in a circular path around a orbit it is in static state it is in stationary state that means it uh, don't lose uh, energy or emit energy simply the movement of electron from one orbit to another orbit that is about its not in continuous manner it is about discontinuous manner i just want to explain one thing that what about continuous and discontinuous manner just imagine one thing there is <coughs> simply when you go along a straight here you go 1.5 meter you go 1.2 meter you go 0.9 meter so that is a कंटिन्यूस मैनर बट सो सिंपली आप इस चीज को ध्यान पर रखिए अगर आप एक स्ट्रेट रोड पे जा रहे हो ठीक है आप जा रहे हो तो हम कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं आप वन मीटर जा रहे हो या वन पॉइंट टू मीटर जा रहे हो वन पॉइंट थ्री मीटर जा रहे हो फाइन जीरो पॉइंट नाइन मीटर जा रहे हो तो दट इज द कंटिन्यूस मूवमेंट बट वट एवर डिसकंटिन्यूस मैनर आप सीढ़ी पे जा रहे हो ठीक है ना फाइन पहला सीढ़ी है दूसरा है तीसरा है आप मुझे बताओ वन पॉइंट फाइव सीढ़ी नंबर 1.5 नंबर का सीढ़ी कौन सा है सो दैट इज ए डिसकंटिन्यूस मैनर कंटिन्यूस मैनर मींस सिंपली इट्स ए फ्लो बट डिसकंटिन्यूस मैनर मींस इट्स ए जंप इट जंप फ्रॉम वन टू अनदर इट जंप फ्रॉम वन टू अनदर आप एक सीढ़ी से दूसरे तक इट जंप कर रहे हैं फाइन लेकिन आप सीधे रास्ते पे जा रहे हो तो वी कैन कैलकुलेट एनीथिंग सो दैट इज द दैट इज द कंटिन्यूस मैनर सो bohr simply explained that is the electron movement it is in a discontinuous manner not in a continuous manner when it moves in a particular orbit is a signify particular orbit that means the energy radius all things are quantized fixed about that orbit another there are infinite number of orbits fine i explain you uh, explain little bit again i just explain you elaborately to pray about that fine so the bohr explained that the electron's movement in discontinuous manner and when electron move in a particular orbit simply it is in a stationary state it uh, don't lose energy it don't absorb energy when it absorbs it jump from lower to higher energy when it emits it jump from higher to lower energy fine so we observe the postulates in various way we observe all the analysis all the things okay this is the drawback of rutherford model and uh, that is also proved by <coughs> maxwell that when a charged particle moving it continuously it emits energy so it definitely fall onto the nucleus and bohr explain with their postulates so you, now we turn to our chemistry part that is bohr's model its calculation of energy radius nodes these all things we should calculate so simply we focus about the postulates of bohr's model okay first of all bohr neil bohr uh, stated that when the electrons moving in a circular path that is called orbit fine that is orbit there are infinite numbers of orbit actually that signifies the principal quantum number you know quantum number that is the address of electron in which orbit the electron resides so according to principal quantum number that n equal to 1 2 3 the first energy level second energy level third energy level also represented as k l m n like that orbits 
तो फर्स्ट पोस्ट लेस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मूविंग इन अ सर्कुलर पाथ दैट इज कॉल्ड ऑर्बिट दैट सिग्निफाइज द प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर एंड देयर आर इनफाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ ऑर्बिट्स एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर वी कैन असाइन दैट ऑर्बिट इज के एल एम एन लाइक दैट हम लोग यहां पे के एल एम एन ऐसे वो नेमिंग किया हुआ है ऑर्बिट को फाइन सेकंड वन दैट इज अबाउट द ड्रॉबैक ऑफ रदरफोर्ड्स मॉडल According to Maxwell, when a charged particle continuously moving, it emits radiation, definitely loses energy continuously, and it falls to the nucleus. Bohr stated that according to that drawback, that when an electron is moving in a circular path in a particular orbit, the term is used as a particular orbit. The electron is in static state or stationary state. It don't lose energy, don't absorb energy. Fine. so this is the second postulate that is at a stationary states that is at a stationary state and i just want to say one thing all orbits with their energy and radius they are quantized so third point is very important that is electrons movement in a discontinuous manner when you go along a straight line up sidhe rasta pe ja sak jaoge to 1.1 meter i already told you that 1.1 1.0 0.9 we can measure बट आप सीडी पे जा रहे हो तो 1.5 नंबर का सीडी है ही नहीं तो दैट इज इन ए डिस्कंटिन्यूस मैनर इलेक्ट्रॉन जंप्स डजंट फ्लो इट जंप फ्रॉम वन टू अनदर एनर्जी सेल्स और एनर्जी ऑर्बिट्स फाइन व्हेन इट एब्जॉर्ब्स एनर्जी इट जंप्स फ्रॉम लोअर टू हायर व्हेन इट एमिट्स एनर्जी इट कैन जंप फ्रॉम हायर टू लोअर एंड दैट इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बोर्स थ्योरी दैट इज स्पेक्ट्रा एटॉमिक स्पेक्ट्रा एब्जॉर्बेशन स्पेक्ट्रा एंड एमिशन स्पेक्ट्रा I just want to give you some glimpse about spectroscopy or spectra. Simply, there are some infinite number of orbits. Electron absorbs energy that is in form of EMR, electromagnetic radiation. When it absorbs, it jumps from to the lower to higher orbit energy level. Fine, and that energy gap that it absorbs that amount of energy and that represented as a spectral line in energy diagram. It, if it absorbs, that is called absorption spectrum. If it emits, that is called emission spectrum. Electron energy absorbed by the lower side has to go. And to represent it, we use spectroscopy. That is represented as a spectral lines. Fine. Bohr. Again, again, I will tell you. Bohr hydrogen spectrum. It was analyzed by different series. I have Lyman, Barnard, Pascal, Bracket, Pifon like series. Fine. Okay, this is about discontinuous manner, and simply, <coughs> Bohr stated that all orbits they are quantized with their energy, they are quantized with their radius. Fine. Right? So, <coughs> electrons moving in a circular path, not in a straight line. So, circular path very definitely angular momentum, and that is about m v r equal to n s by two pi, and that is integers. You can take anything according to the orbit, according to the orbit. So, m v r equal to n s by two pi. The last one that is about quantized. Every orbit they have a quantized or fixed amount of energy, fixed amount of radius. When you look from jump from lower to higher, that energy gap. What is the energy gap? That amount of energy it absorbs as a e as in EMR radiation or EMR form. You look from magnetic radiation. Fine. So Bohr simply what is the application of Bohr? That is first it uh, describe the principal quantum number. Quantum number that is the address of an electron. We according to the principal quantum number we found that the electron present in which orbit. And second one simply, simply the moment of electron that is about uh, discontinuous manner. It is jump from one to higher. So its application signifies the spectra, atomic spectra. You know, spectroscopy is a very essential, vital thing in chemistry. आप जो टीवी देख रहे हो दैट इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी रेडियो सुन रहे हो एवरीथिंग नेट एवरीथिंग अबाउट स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी ओके अब जो हाई क्लासेस पे जाओगे तो आपने जो भी हमारे बीच रोटेशनल और वाइब्रेशनल बहुत सारे स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी को आप एनालिसिस कर पाओगे बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट चीजें हैं फाइन एंड थर्ड वन दैट इज क्वांटाइज ऑर्बिट एनर्जी रेडियस हम कैलकुलेट करेंगे एवरी ऑर्बिट का एनर्जी क्या है रेडियस क्या है नोड क्या है फाइन नो इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी सो Atomic model first. What is atom? Atomic models. How atoms uh, look like? Means electrons is where, nucleus is where. That is about Rutherford model. Then <coughs> we can arrange them. Some limitations are there. Then Bohr argued with that limitation and giving that postulates. Fine. 
uh, so we discuss totally first of all electromagnetic radiations wave their characteristics simply frequency wavelength uh, web number time period amplitude these are most important thing and secondly planck's quantum theory that uh, anybody can emit or absorb radiations always in discontinuous manner in case of uh, in terms of packets or quantas in case of light that is called photon and uh, <coughs> their energy directly proportional to their frequency then the application part photoelectric effect the ejection of electron outermost electron definitely because it is the far distance from the nucleus less central uh, nuclear force ejection of electron from the metal surface with the striking of light with some certain frequency and uh, there is also a kinetic energy parameter i already discussed you and next the bohr's postulate after drop of uh, rather for model what are the bohr's postulates uh, these things you just uh, analyze all the things uh, make a note there is a pd link some questions are there try to make that questions okay after the classes we <coughs> enter to the chemistry syllabus what is the energy what is the radius fine what is the node the shape of the orbitals then electronic configuration how the role for police exclusion for <coughs> def different different parameter entities for all over the concepts also i am trying to give you a uh, means a uh, informative part about symbol formula valency radicals structure determination structure formations okay so accordingly syllabus we can go slightly fine you just focus about yourself click uh, <coughs> our uh, pdf link you get the pdf also you can add our telegram channel for doubt clearings and uh, keep on watching on our youtube channel that is most essential for you i hope and uh, you get benefited from that so this is some informative part we start our classes within a slowly manner and definitely we after some time we speed off and uh, going to the entrance objectives different exams and we planning to do a exam on next sunday we are planning to conduct the objective test fine so i just want to say our uh, today's content again that is first about to web that is a disturbance of electromagnetic radiations second one simply max planck's quantum theory then photoelectric effect and finally the bohr's atomic model thank you so much